Okay, we're here with Jorge Patino, Macaco. For those who don't know him, who's getting ready to fight at Legacy 18. Jorge, can you have uh, any? How do you feel going into the fight? I feel good. Uh, I'm training hard. I'm focused for my fight to defend my title. Uh, everything good in my life. Uh, my family, my train, my body, God, stay good power to me. Everything ready. How uh, how old are you right now, and how long have you been involved in mixed martial arts? Now I'm 39, and May 8th, this year I will do 40, and I start my first fight in mixed martial arts. I was 17 years old. I do this uh, 23 years. You fought in basically every major organization, right? From Pride to Budo to the UFC against Pat Militic, I think. What was your hardest fight and why? Uh, all my fights are hard. I can choose one and say, oh, that's the harder than others. Uh, the hard part in my career is the train. Three months train hard for one fight and cut your weight and focus. It's a diet food. Uh, no, 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 do nothing. No party. No, no out the house. Only five times a day train hard. And this is the hard time I had before my fight. After fight is everything is easy. And on the fight is time to my party. Yeah, fight my party. I love that. What are your preparations for this fight uh, against Derek Krantz? Uh, I need to respect my opponent because he's younger than me, 15 years. Uh, he's strong, he's a wild, and he do all the stuff in his fight. He fights stand up, he put the guys down, he do BJJ, he do ground and pound. Uh, I did everything. I trained hard with my boxing coach, Robert Flores Bob and Frank, his brother. Uh, I trained my tie a lot. I trained pets with Samantha. Uh, I, I do spa with Chiuku and my students. I prepare my cardio 100% every day. Uh, I cut weight, I do a good diet, I rest a lot. I train wrestling, I lift weight. I did everything. I pray I got a lot for God. I, I feel it's my time again, I ready to do. Okay, thank you. Uh, you started your career with 12 consecutive wins. You went 12-0 and 0, and then afterwards you had a little period where you were a bit more inconsistent. You went, I believe, 23 and 13 and one and you're currently on a five-fight win streak. What are you doing now that uh, you're having the same success as the beginning of your career? Uh, I have more victories than share share dog show because when I start fight, doesn't exist share dog. And I have 10 more victories, but share dog never put that victories in, in his numbers. I don't know why. That guys uh, need to find my history if you wanna put everything correct. Uh, the correct one, I have 22 knockout last a minute. I have 22 victories last a minute. Then I lost my first time. I lost in Belém do Pará for João Bosco, uh, TKO. He, he gave 20, no, 57 push in my head and I never tap and halfway stopped the fight. Uh, I want to do again. Uh, I'm in shape, old man. I uh, training hard for that. I have a dreams. My dreams is a uh, comeback fight to FC again. I don't know when, but I, I have to do. I have that first match. I have to do March 1st on Legas to defend my lightweight title. Then if I do that, I can go to Pancrase March 17th, fight with Izao, the champion. If I do that and beat him, I go April 27th to Australia, combat, combat eight to fight again for title belt. And if I beat that three guys, I will fight in Brazil May 12th, May 22 to another title belt. Then I know Joe Silva will give me a spot again to back UFC. It would be very hard to argue with that level of success. Let's talk about your current opponent now, Derek D. Uh I know you've heard, but I have to ask you on camera, what are your, your thoughts on him saying that he's going to knock you out in the first round and that he's going to whoop your ass? <laughs> and I quote. Uh, he can tell everything out the cage. Inside the cage is very different. I fought a lot of tough fighters before and they said the same. Um, but always God bless me and I'm a champion. I have to respect to him. I will do my best inside the cage and I will prove him and show everybody this is not happy. This is not you happy. Not you, this time. You think it's better to, to show, to speak in the cage than to do it outside, right? I have a good experience. Uh, I'm an old man and I prefer don't talk too much and do more in the cage. Are he you will learn that. He's young, like me. Before, 
I did the same, talk too much, and the guys beat me, kick my ass. I prefer kick your ass than talk too much. Thank you. Uh, your fight is Friday, and uh, I know you normally walk around about 20 pounds over what you are now. What, uh, what is the hardest thing for you to give up when you're in training, food and, and drink-wise? What, what are the things that, that like, you, can't, you wish you could have right now that, that you can't? Ah, look, I'm, I'm very professional, and I understand what I want. I know what I want to do. I want to win. I want to still champion. But I love it. I like it good. Uh, when I don't have a boat, like a fight, uh, normally I eat three lunches per day, good meals, my wife cooking good, uh, I like Brazilian food, very good juice, but that's the hard part I had uh, when I prepared to my fights, diet. Two months, three months, only fruits, vegetables, and supplements, damn man, I have a dream with the food. Yeah, I, I, when I finish my fight, the first, do I, the first thing I will do, pray God to say thank you for my victory, and I go eat something very, very, very juice, very flavor, like uh, ribs, like a uh, big sandwich hamburger or pizza, something like that. How do you uh, predict the fight going before you go have that juicy rib or the pizza? Hmm. How do you think it's going to end? It's very hard to tell you what you, what you, you have in the fight, yeah? My God, Jesus Christ, know everything, and he prepare what you, I have to do. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to do everything. If the fight stand up, I'm ready to fight stand up. If the fight for going to go to the ground, I'm ready to fight in the ground. Uh, I train hard a lot of submissions. I had training hard a lot of knockout power punch, knees, kicks, defense to take downs. Uh, it's unpredictable. It's, uh, each fight mine, uh, you watch is different. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't have a game plan. I do everything and mm, the octagon and the locked door, something happened in my hand in my head, and I see the flash, boom, boom, and I do. You're the, obviously the hometown favorite. You, uh, you've you been in Houston for three years now with Macaco's gold team. Uh, is there any extra pressure be representing the hometown, having your students that you interact with every day, seeing you compete in the cage? No, uh, I don't feel pressure, yeah. Uh, I want to compete. Uh, I feel good when I compete. It's very important to me, making me feel in life give me stamina, give me power. I have that challenge in my life. Uh, I'm, a not, I'm, I'm, I'm a competitor. I'm born to fight. Uh, if I don't fight, I don't feel happy. Uh, I have to do it. I have to train. To do BJJ, to do no gi, to do MMA, I have to do it. To show my students my power. If I can do, you can do too. Thank you so much. Do you have any last words for our readers or for your students that are gonna see this later? Yes, I have. Guys, Always stay with God and pray to Him. Put your dreams in His hands and everything coming through. Believe. Have it very important. God's power take care of you. Thank you so much, Makako. On behalf of Texas MMA, good luck on your match. Thank you, Texas MMA. I appreciate it and see you Friday.